Yo, what's up, y'all? Humphrey J. Campbell here, Mr. Campbell Comics himself, and welcome to another Speed Paint Plus Storytime video. As always, first I'm gonna talk about what I'm working on here today, and then I'm gonna get into the story. And today's story, it's uh, it's a little ridiculous. It's a lot ridiculous, actually. It's pretty silly, but like, it's about the time I almost got. I mean, I dramatize it, but it's about the time I almost got killed by a cow. That actually happened. I, I think I, but I legit almost got killed by a cow. Those things are scary, yo. But I'm gonna tell you guys all about that in the second half of this video. First, let me talk about what I'm drawing here today. And uh, what I'm working on today is another one of my main characters. You all know how much I enjoy drawing my main characters. <laughs> Anyways, um, his name is Cole Anderson. And he's actually the best friend to my star character i guess you can call it um zane elliot armstrong i drew him a couple videos ago i actually drew him twice the first time i drew him in his megamorph form his megamorph form is the form he transforms to he's a superhero he has superpowers kind of think of like the hulk and ben 10 rolled into one again if you haven't watched if you haven't watched that video you can go and watch it uh first time i drew him i drew him as the ghost of tsushima and the second time I drew him in his human form when he's Zane Elliot Armstrong, when he's in his human form. So the character I'm drawing today is his best friend, Cole Anderson. And um, a little brief story about Cole Anderson and what he's about. Um, okay, so he, he kind of looks like a generic surfer dude you know stereotypical surfer dude he has the beanie he has the long hair even the way he talks he, has, he even talks in that uh you know like uh that stereotypical surfer what's up dude surf's up brah you know like stereotypical like surfer dude but like the thing about him and the thing about all my characters is they all are tanzanians because i'm from tanzania so of course i'm gonna make my characters tanzanians and uh so i know he's caucasian oh when i when i color him in you'll realize that he's caucasian you know so obviously he's caucasian but he's tanzanian by citizenship because like his parents reside here and he was born here but the reason why he has the surfer accent and doesn't have a i guess african english accent none of my characters have that they have the american accent anyways um is uh, the thing what I'm, the thing that I'm doing about with uh, with these characters is I'm kind of putting myself in them because like for me I am from Tanzania I've said that <laughs> many times already in this uh, video but like I grew up being exposed to a lot of Western things because I grew up watching a lot of Western shows you know so of course I have tanzanian influence but then i also have a lot of western influence it's like a nice collage of the two so that's what i'm doing with my characters like they are tanzanians they do have when you guys watch the the animated series that's coming very soon featuring all of these characters that i've drawn actually him and uh zoe elliot armstrong i drew her a couple of videos ago and uh zane elliot armstrong as well along with cole they'll all be in that series which is called megamorph by the way uh, so they all have, you know, they all reside here in Tanzania, but like they have that Western feel to them because like I have that Western feel to myself because like, oh, I mean, and uh, a lot of my friends do a lot of the friends that I have also because we all grew up watching a lot of Western shows and all that. So there is that influence, obviously, you know, so it's like it's like the best of both worlds, you know, I mean, just because you're from one place doesn't mean you fully have features from that place alone you're like you'll have characteristics depending on what influenced you you get what i'm talking about so uh, that's why he is tanzanian <laughs> but he has that you know um caucasian uh surfer dude accent also because he's a big fan like he grew up watching a lot of shows that had those characters so he just he's a fanatic so he just um he was imitating the way they talk the same way i grew up like I was watching a lot of uh, Western animated shows, so I picked up on the accent and uh, the way they spoke, and I just like the way they speak, and that's why I speak the way I do. Anyways, 
Um, that's a little brief explainer about that and why he is the way he is. So he's, you know, any along with his attitude, he doesn't he doesn't just talk that way. Even the way his mannerisms, the way he's he's a very free, chill dude. You know, he's like all high in spirit. You know, he's he lives in the moment and all that. So, um, but anyways, you'll see more of that when you see the animated show that's coming soon. But what he's doing right here is just taking a selfie while he's putting on his beanie. His beanie that covers his eyes and everything. He has extremely long hair too, as you will see in the drawing, as you see in the drawing. Anyways, enough about that. Let's get into the story. <laughs> like I said before, this is about the time I almost got killed by a cow. Yo, do not mess with cows, y'all. I mean, those things are scary. I mean, they're calm, they're usually calm up until you pissed them off, which is what I did. I pissed off one of them. Something that I, I shouldn't have done. <laughs> anyway, so um, so this was back in the fourth grade, third or fourth grade, I'm not really sure, but I was young, obviously, I was very young. And this was um, in the previous video, I don't know if it was the previous videos, or in the previous video, or another video, I don't remember which video it was, but I was talking about the time I got kidnapped. I think that was the previous video I uploaded on Thursday last week. But um, I talked about how my mom bought me a new bike. But I also mentioned that before that I had another bike, an older one, which was worn out. So this was back when I still had the older bike, when I was still using the older bike, right? Which was worn down and everything. So um, I remember me and my friends had this habit of would race around the neighborhood as kids do with bikes. You know, we liked racing around and like the place that I lived, like I mentioned before in the other videos, it was a very chill place, you know? There was a lot of open ground areas, a lot of areas, like a lot of land areas where like built, like houses weren't built yet. So, you know, it was like, there was some houses here and there, but then it wasn't full on urban, like, you know, concrete and whatever. Um, so there was a lot of um, rough roads and like, and there were people grazing their cows every now, every now and then. You're like, if you take, if you walk around, eventually you're gonna stumble upon like a cow that's been like, that's on a leash, you know, and it's like grazing and stuff like that. So um, there was this one particular cow that was um, like most cows that you'd see that are like you know, that, that, um, that are grazing and they have the leash, you know, um, the rope tied around the neck. It's usually a regular rope, right? But for this particular cow, it was a chain, like an actual chain, you know? <laughs> Which should have indicated that this cow was angrier than most cows you saw. And its, uh, its eyes were bloodshot, like it had scary red eyes, you know? It was a bull, by the way. So, um, so it was chained, you know, with a chain, and uh, we like like riding past it, and you like stare at us. And uh, me and my friends had this really bad habit. I'm not proud of this, but we would throw stones at it, poke on it, and then when it moves and like, you know, we run off. You know, we we're kids. We we're dumb. We did dumb shit. You, know? you do dumb shit when you're a kid. So we used to do that. We'd like throw stone. Nothing. I think that was like enough to hurt him but like it was irritating obviously what would you do if you're having a nice meal and a couple of kids are throwing stones at you obviously would be irritated you know but he had the chain on you know like it was chained down so we're like he can't get to us even if he tries to charge us i mean the chain is gonna hold it back right <laughs> wrong so we kept doing that a couple days like you know multiple days like every time we'd ride past that place throw stones at it all right <laughs> now this one time the cow was like you know what i've had about i've had enough of your shit you know the cow was like you know what today is the day i'm gonna fuck all of you up so as always we rode past the cow we stopped started throwing stones at it <laughs> having fun out of being alive that cow got pissed he started charging us and again we're like it's got the chain on so obviously <clears throat> it can't get to us no it broke the chain started charging straight at us my friends took off i took off as well like but like i mentioned in the previous video i was 
very chubby at the time. <laughs> so I wasn't very fast, you know? So you see where I'm going with this. I wasn't very fast, so I'm like, I started pedaling, but obviously I was the slowest one because I was behind. But I was pedaling as hard as I could. But this, yo, this, it's the scariest thing when you have a, I don't know how many ton, I don't know how many, how much, cow, how many, how much cows weigh, but this thing was huge. It was scary and it was angry and it was right behind me. Yo, I pedaled for my life. He charged at me. I was like, today I'm going to die. Today I'm going to die. I don't know what happened. I think I tripped with the bike and I fell. I don't know what it was, but I fell. And like the car was charging right up. But like, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm, like I didn't have time. I didn't have enough time to like pick up the bike and start riding off. So I was like, you know, to hell with the bike. I just left it down there. I started taking off on foot. <laughs> I think I remember the cow got from my bike and it just, it just like using its like its horns. It just like, you know, it just picked up the bike and just tossed it to the side and started chasing at me. <sighs> I'm telling you, it was even scarier me being on foot <laughs> but it got so close like I could feel like the you know like the horns you know I think it poked at me on my shirt or something but luckily I uh, luckily I managed to get into like I ran towards a busy road in the street like there was a lot of people there and uh, I was screaming, and then I think one of the one of the guys who were braver than me, it was an adult, was braver than me, saw that I was running for my life, and like they tried to like get the cow's attention, like to divert the cow's attention away from me. And uh, the guy was yelling, and you know, I guess the cow, I guess the bull got distracted and stopped chasing me. But he was this close. I swear he was this close to like just picking me up and like you know impaling me with the with the uh, with the horn or whatever luckily that guy was like yelling and like trying to get his diverge like dive, dive, trying to divert the cow's attention and uh, it worked the cow stopped i guess he got confused or something or maybe just lost interest and uh he just stopped the man the guy managed to like calm the bull down and like the bull just turned around and went about its business <laughs> i don't know if the if the owner found, like caught up to us and like got the cow back but i did see the cow i mean i'm pretty sure they did because or maybe the cow went back on this i didn't want to stop to find out i just kept running and running till i got home <laughs> i was so thankful for that guy but then i remembered i was like oh shit my bike so i had to go back luckily i found the bike i mean it wasn't that damage you know and i don't know how nobody stole it but again it was a really chill place like it wasn't that busy there weren't a lot of there weren't a lot of people who lived there so i think maybe that's why my bike was still around but um but yeah i mean uh it was pretty scary i mean I, days later i did find the cow again so i'm guessing the owner did eventually find the cow and uh but yeah like I developed immense respect for cows from that point on, you know, it was like, I didn't mess with that cow anymore. Um, obviously we got, uh, me and my friends um, met up again and we were laughing about it and, you know, they were like, yo, we, we thought you died, yo, I thought we thought that cow killed you because everyone ran away, like nobody stopped to look behind, like everyone, it was every man for himself, you know, but like for some reason the cow picked me, maybe I was the easiest target. You know, maybe because of the slowest target but um but yeah i mean it's amazing how fast you run when you're in danger like the adrenaline like i said i was a chubby i was a chubby kid so i wasn't that fast but that day i was fast i was i was extremely fast or maybe the cow was just playing with me i don't know but uh or maybe it's just dumb luck or maybe a combination of all those things but um but yeah i mean that's uh that's what happened that's the story about uh, the time i almost got killed by a cow which i deserved because i was picking on the cow i mean the cow was just the bull i guess i mean it was just trying to eat it was just trying to graze you know it was just doing its thing <sighs> until we showed up so um it wasn't anything i didn't deserve 
but um, it was nonetheless, it was scary, but it was uh, an adventure, and that's why I'm sharing it <laughs> with you guys today. So I hope you guys, I hope, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Hope you got a good laugh out of it, and uh, you know, if you like this, be sure to drop a like, to subscribe, and share, and leave a comment on um leave a comment tell me what like what you think about the uh the drawing what you think about the story and uh anything else you want to comment on and uh i'm just gonna let the drawing play through and uh and yeah you all have a good one peace